Justin again. I have something else to show you today. I just showed you guys how to use how I read Braille. Now I'm going to show you how I use the white cane. So we're going to see how it works. So first I'm going to talk about why I have it. Okay, so the cane is basically used for people who are blind or visually impaired. Um, get these because it helps them get around easier to get around obstacles or and it helps like since they had these those people who are totally blind don't have any vision it helps them get around it helps them get around easier so that we don't have they don't have to worry about bumping into things or crashing into walls or doors or something that's what these canes are used for and that's why I that's some of those reasons why also it can be like in my case, the reason why I had to get it is because of my depth perception sometimes. Like sometimes I have a hard time figuring out how close the drop off is. That's why I put my foot in front of my in front of my cane first sometimes. If I'm like at a st at stairs or in the dark or whatever. Well it depends on how dark it is or how much light there is around me. It all it all depends, but yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how I basically walk. So people usually prefer to put it um, to put it out in front of them. This is how you put the cane out in front of you. Some people prefer to uh, just go straight and walk like like put it out straight like that, or sweep it like a broom. I usually prefer to sweep it lightly. I mean, I do either way. Uh, so what you have to do with the cane is that you put it out in front of you. Um, I do this. I sweep it like a broom. I walk. Then when it hits something, it tells me that I'm like I'm, there's something in front of me, and I have to like move out of the way or go or go around the left. This is the cane tip. It attaches. It uh, there's a little pole in it, or cord inside of it that keeps this cane together. That's why you see those joints, and it goes all the way up here, and you can hang it up on a hook. And I just have some keychains to make it nice. And uh, I'll show you how I, how, you, how I fold it in a minute here. I'm, gonna go, I'm actually going to go over here. There's my bent cane. Here, I'll show you. If you look very closely, see? There's the bent. There, There's the bent part right there. So I took all, yeah, I took the keychains off and I put them on this cane. This is a 52 inch and I think that's a 50. I don't exactly remember, it's somewhere around there, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Again, walk, do the same thing, bump. I know something is in front of me and I won't have to worry about crashing into stuff. So now I'm gonna show you how I fold it and unfold it. How do you fold the cane? So um, what I have to do is I have to, here let me, go around this way so you can see there's three joints on this cane that connects the cord but I said like I said earlier that was going all the way down to the tip so you have to pull it like this you can't pull it too far because it will break which I don't want to do so then you take this part see it like collapses basically sometimes these cane joint sticks and they get stick and they can put oil on them to make the metal more slippery so that way it can come out easier. See, and it just breaks itself down. It breaks itself down into parts. And I put the loop and it attaches it and it keeps it from um, coming undone. Now, how do you unfold it? Well, that's pretty easy actually. Take the loop out, you do this. You just let it go. Here, I'll show you, I'll stand up. See, it just comes undone, and that's how you that's how you fold it on. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little demonstration video on how to use the white cane. I'll see you guys in the next video, and that's it.